class. All right. Which dancers would like to show me the routine we were working on last time? We would. What? You got this, man. You're a maniac. Andre, Roby, to the front. Don't talk to anyone until I get back. Position. Begin. Take a five minute break. Please make it 10, 20. We have a turkey sandwich on whole wheat with lettuce, tomato, and a little light mayo. All I got some burritos. You know what? I'll have a burrito. One minute! What's shaking, bacon? Oh, they don't have bacon. Just the burritos. Oh, well, I'll take a burrito. One burrito! Who's he yelling to? He's in there by himself. Get away, stupid. Bees? Don't even mention bees in front of me. Why, are you allergic? I don't know. I've never been stung by a bee, not once in my whole life. And why are you so upset about that? Because I'm offended. I guess bees don't think I'm good enough for stinging. I could stick you with the safety pin. Nah, it wouldn't be the same. OK, here you go. Turkey sandwich on wheat, lettuce, tomato, light mayo. I thought you said you only had burritos. But are you a lawyer? <laughs> Burrito for you. Thanks, man. Oh, what is with the bees today? They're like all over me. Must be nice. Hey, sit. Thanks. Cool. Oh, I don't want them sitting here. You know, it's great that you're so open with your bitterness. She's just grouchy because she got stung by a bee. See that? Everybody but me. Come on, bees. What's a guy got to do to get stung? <laughs> Ooh, script pages? Uh, not for you. You auditioning for a play? Sorta. Of. It's a movie. That's so great. What movie? I'm taking your pickle. <laughs> so, a movie? Oh, it's called Misfire. It's about this woman cop who gets fired and then goes on this crazy rampage. That's so cool. Who plays a woman cop? Melinda Murray. Shut up! You're gonna start with Melinda Murray in a movie? Well, I'll be playing waiter number one and I only have two lines. That's if I get the part. So where's the script? I want to read it. Well, you don't get the whole script unless you get the part. They only give you a few pages to audition with. Ow! I just got stung by a bee. Oh, uh, her? Really? Ugh, I am so mad at Robbie. I feel like everyone's staring at my pimple. Everyone is. How do you think I feel? Five people today have asked me about my catch-up addiction. One kid called me Mr. Catch-up. It's all Tori's fault. Really? They were about to kick Robbie off the slap. You were the one who told him to start reporting on our personal lives, then you gave him ideas by letting him shoot video of you playing with your pimple. Give me the salt. Hey, Andre, we thought you might need this. Save some for dinner. <laughs> I do not have a catch-up problem. Andre, Andre, right here. Hey! What are you guys doing? Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here. Who were they? Robberazzi's. Robbie's little ninth grade photographers. Oh man, now Robbie's got pics of me with this industrial size ketchup. We gotta do something. Clearly. I think we just have to show Robbie that we're not gonna be his friends until he stops embarrassing everybody. <laughs> that from the Sky Store? Uh huh. What is it? It's the world's most powerful portable juicer for juicing on the go. You're so screwed up. No, it's really cool. Look at. Uh, uh. <laughs> See? You juiced my pizza. Why chew what you can drink? What's up, my peeps? How's everyone doing this fine day? Do you really need that much ketchup? <laughs> hey! 
Wait, Jay, what do you do? Jay! <laughs> What's wrong with you guys? Stop embarrassing us on your dumb Robberazzi blog! Seriously, Rob, it's not funny anymore, okay? You guys embarrass yourselves. I just get it on tape and show the world. Well, we don't want to be your friends till you stop. Fine. You know, lots of other people want to be my friends. Smart and attractive people. See you on the web. Do you want me to juice your bagel? I really don't. And you're going to be working with Johnny Depp on a big movie? Yeah, made the deal this morning. Awesome. I'm betting it didn't hurt that this new short film that you just did has already gotten, what, like, three million views this week? Uh-huh. Have you guys seen Dale's short film? Chart. 30 seconds. Yeah, I'm about that film. Yeah, I, I gotta be honest. So you're not going into politics? <laughs> that was off the cuff. It's just, I've been feeling kind of guilty. About? Well, it wouldn't be fair for me to take credit for that movie. See, most of the work was done by a really talented group of students from Hollywood Arts High School here in LA. Specifically, I would like to give credit to Andre Harris, Jade West, Beck Oliver. Oh, he's Mary giving Lily, us credit Allison on Cooch, national TV. Gray, Robbie Shapiro, Sinjin Van Cleef, and most importantly, Tori Vega. Your cousin. My cousin. She's gonna. Oh man. We have to stop her. Abort! 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 No, no, don't. Abort! No, no, stop, stop. Here we go. <gasps> hey there, Dale Squires! Uh, apparently you have a fan in the crowd. <laughs> hey Dale, how come you lied to me? Uh, ma'am? I don't know you, I don't, I don't know her. You, you, you don't know me! <laughs> this man took me to a fish restaurant two weeks ago and told me he loved me, and I haven't heard from him since! <laughs> She's lying, okay? You you are a liar. Liar? Oh no! That's it! I'm about to open up a cloud and rain all over you! Can you go to a commercial? No way, man. This is awesome. You guys like it there? Dale gave us credit. Even I feel bad. We should do something. Waffles? I like waffles. Waffles are good. I know a place. Oh. Man, I don't want to be on the internet looking like a big blob of stupid spaghetti. I thought we were sisters. Nah, I'm a dude. Not you. You formed a musical group and didn't ask me to be in it? We didn't want to be in it. Then why did you? Hey, Andre. There's a handsome man over there who wants to talk to you. He is handsome. Who is he? Guy I told you about from the record label. He's a music producer? Down, girl. I'll be back. Man, it's not me. My boss was checking you out online, and he saw you in that spaghetti costume singing about your favorite foods. And... That was a one-time thing. I swear, I take my music really seriously. I know that, but Michael's got this thing about image, and you know, Guys who dress up as pasta and sing songs about fruits and chicken fingers. Nuggets. Nuggets. That's not the image that he wants for the label. Sorry, kid. I might be crazy, but have I told you lately that I love you? You're the only reason that I'm not afraid to fly. And it's crazy. Eleven fourteen p.m. Only four of my students remain in character. I have prepared some piping hot quesadillas from a recipe I got from Crispin Glover back when we well. Hello, may I? Ha I don't know you. <laughs> Who's at the door? I'm not sure. She was. Where? Well, that, that's a dilly of a pickle. I don't eat pickles. Uh, no, you see, 
Andre, per se, isn't here. I see him right there! Hello, love. You look a bit chat. Could I just you and a tearly dog? Maybe a couple of us. No! Andre! Why'd you play games with me over the telephone? Oh, uh, ma'am, I'm not Andre. I'm a marathon runner who also happens to oh be... Oh, my really... God, who did that? <laughs> Come on, listen. I'm doing a method acting exercise. I need you to leave. Uh, Andre, you broke character. Come on, it's not my fault she came in here. Come stated. with me. Please, stop. You are You're in trouble. Friends, you okay? are in so much trouble. You're always interrupting stuff. My fortune says, he that is not right is often never wrong. What? <laughs> All right, uh, mine says, help, I'm being held hostage in a Chinese cookie factory. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. You wanna read it? Yes. <clears throat> it says, Robbie will never be loved by a woman. <laughs> what? That's not true. You know... The cookie has spoken. All right, back to Jade's play. Uh... She expects me to find someone to pay for the whole thing. Well, none of us have that kind of money. Well, what about your bat mitzvah money? First, it was a bar mitzvah. I am a boy. Theoretically. I already spent the last of my money on leather pants and male makeup. Everything okay? What's yeah, that? great. Eh, whatever. Ooh, H.A. jacket. You kids go to Hollywood Arts? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, we do. Oh, you know, my daughter auditioned to go to school there, but they said she was talentless and irritating. Oh, I'm sorry. That's, that's too bad. Wah, wah. Just give us a check. Sure. And nobody want anything else? Yes, $3,000 to put on a bitter girl's play. What play? Oh, no, I'm, I'm joking. How much do you? But I like theater very much. Tell me about the play. Oh, well, one of our classmates wrote it. Yeah, it's about a little girl who falls into a well and then drowns in her own tears. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. You're sick, Rex. What happened, man? We used to be tight. I will put out the money for your bitter friend's play. <laughs> Why? Because I love acting and theater. And maybe one day, if you kids get famous, you will end up on my wall of celebrities. Come see. Come. This way. And bring the puppet. It's not a puppet. Ah, you see the celebrities? Cool. All those celebrities have eaten here? Oh, yes. Oh, my god. Angelina Jolie. Uh-huh. She ordered the wonton soup, and then she tried to adopt my daughter. Grandma, listen. There's no way you can drown at my school. <laughs> look, look, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I'll call you later. Your grandmother's coming to the big showcase? Yeah, it's gonna be the first time she left the house in six years. Why? Because the woman's afraid of everything. People, umbrellas, rabbis, bikinis, breakfast foods. So if she saw a rabbi in a bikini eating pancakes? The woman would burst into flames. <laughs> Back to rehearsal. Let's go. So, what do you think? <laughs> Fabulous, right? You really need to wear that just to rehearse? A performer needs to feel the part to be the part. I thought we talked about you not tapping my nose anymore. <laughs> OK, we got the comedy stuff down, so let's start with my song. And by your song, I'm guessing you mean the song that I wrote. No one cares who wrote the song. <laughs> Now, take it from when I make it shine. When I make it shine. Well? Do you have any aspirin? Hey, Beck. Hey, Andre. Congrats. You've got a free bottle of water. I'll, I'll put a dollar in the machine and two came out. Ah, thanks, but um, I don't drink water from mountain streams. Why not? Mountain streams are full of fish. So? Fish pee. You're drinking fish pee. Mm. Hey, guys. Dude. Look what's on the Buzzfinger homepage. Oh, poor Jay Leno. 
No, under that. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's you and Alyssa Vaughn together. No way. That's Beck and Alyssa Vaughn together. Why are you guys so impressed? Because Alyssa Vaughn is famous. And hot. Her father's a billionaire. And hot. I didn't mean her father's. I drank fish pee. Explain this. She's in my yoga class. Some paparazzi showed up and took that pic, but we're just friends. Uh-huh. And how did Jade react when she found out you were friends with Alyssa Vaughn? Jade was cool with it. She threw a rock at me. Yeah, well, I'd be careful, because I don't think Jade's the type to be OK with Attention! Attention, everyone! <laughs> Stop while I talk! As you all know, I'm Trina Vega. Now, if you look at the flyers that just landed on you, you'll see that starting this Friday night, I will be performing my own one-woman show called Trina <laughs> with an exclamation point. Hey, shut up! It's a play that I wrote myself that will not only touch your heart, but blow your mind. <laughs> now, if you look at these flyers, you'll see that. Oh. Oh. Could you pass those out? I don't know. I can't see. Look at... Shoes? Boots! Bazzini boots! Ow! Trina's been dying for these. I had to go to 11 different stores before I could... Hello? Hey! What's up, Trina? Okay, what has two thumbs and is already having a fantastic birth week? This girl! <laughs> Check out my kicks. Bazzini boots. Got them at Simone's on sale. Oh. Oh, don't be sad. You can borrow them. After I'm dead. <laughs> Mom, I got Bazzini boots! Mom! Mom! You're gonna have to come up with another press. I know that! <laughs> got a cheese guy who can put together... I'm not giving her cheese! <laughs> Maybe I should just give up and accept the fact that I'm not gonna find anything good and Trina's gonna hate me for the next six months. I can't believe you hit me in the head. <laughs> Help me! All right. Uh... How about a song? A song? As a present for Trina? Yeah. You could write it, perform it yourself, you know, do it up real big. That's not bad. That is, I don't know how to write a song. Think, what has two thumbs and knows how to help a friend write a song? This guy. <laughs> I love that. But you really think we're gonna be able to have a whole song ready by Trina's birthday? No worries. And I'll get a banging band here, some girls to back you up, lights, it'll be the chiz. What is chiz, anyway? I think it's a German sausage. Let's get back to the lyrics. No, I can't write lyrics. Just play more stuff on your thingy. I'll help you. Just tell me some of your favorite things about Trina. I said, tell me something. I heard you. <laughs> Come on, dig deep. Okay, okay. Um, oh, how about she's the whole reason why I got into Hollywood arts? Now nah, you're digging. Yeah, I'm diggy. All right. Uh, when you think of Trina, what's the first word that pops in your head? Crazy. Crazy. But I love her. Have you told her that lately? No. Wait, are you sure this stuff's gonna help us write a song? Let's see. You might be crazy, but have I told you lately that I love you and that you're the reason that I... Da, 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 da. You good. Hey, Tori. Oh, hey, uh, did you get Kat and Beck? Uh, yeah, they're about to get online. Nice. Where are you? At my grandma's house. Why are you at your grandma's? She called me and said she was scared because the numbers kept changing on a digital clock. Isn't that what clocks do? All I know is when I got here, she was hiding under her bed. Did you get her out? Uh-huh. But I had to use butter. <laughs> oh, the cat's on. Yep, I see. 
Uh, let me invite her. Hey, are you gonna eat your pudding? You ate yours? Yeah, I just scraped the fur right off the top. It wasn't bad. <sighs> Go nuts. Hi! What's up, little red? Hey, Kat. Andre! One sec. What's wrong, Grandma? The numbers on my clock changed again! It's a clock, Grandma. The numbers are supposed to change. What happened to my butter? I'll go to the store tomorrow and get you some more butter. What was that? My grandmother just screamed. Why? What happened? I don't know. I think she saw herself in the mirror. Andre, there's another me on the wall! It's OK, Grandma. Just introduce yourself. I'm sure she's nice. Back to online. Oh, yep. Yeah. Requesting? Ow! What? That rotten kid behind me kicked my seat again and made me poke my eye. I didn't kick your seat. You did too. How's your pit zit? That tears it. Trina! Trina! He's a little boy. Yeah, and I'm about to put him into a little hospital. You requested my face? Hey, man. Hi. Hey, Vic. Is that a dog with you? Oh, look at the puppy. He's cute, huh? So cute. Is he yours? Nah, I'm watching him from my neighbor while she's at her cheerleading practice. You live next door to a cheerleader? I do. Figures. I live next door to a one-legged old man who throws lemons at me. <laughs> so, what's up? Tori's plane's late. I don't get in until almost midnight. But we gotta write the script for grad scenes class. Yeah, so we're gonna do it here over video chat. Oh, sounds good. All right, I will type. Cat, read the assignment. Okay, okay. It says, write a single scene script between seven and 10 pages. The scene must involve a mystery. Ooh. Use at least three characters and have a surprise plot twist. Got it, we can do that. Ideas? Hey, you guys wanna hear a cute joke? A joke? Yeah, listen. Okay, what did the young shrimp say when his mom asked him why he wouldn't share any of his toys? What? Sorry, I'm a little shellfish. <laughs> Get it? Because shrimp are very self-centered. I, I think the joke is that shellfish sounds like selfish. Oh my god, that's even funnier! <laughs> okay, back to the script. Hey, what if our script is about a kid who goes into a closet to look for something and... Ugh. What? Who is that? Robbie's requesting to join our chat. Hey! Hello, buddy. Who wants mushroom? No one! We are leaving this... We are leaving this country right now. Oh, bodies. There they are. OK, what's all the fizzy fuzz? We want to go home. Oh, my god, look at Andre. <laughs> what's on his neck? It's from his moth bite. It won't stop growing. No! Oh. <laughs> uh. oh, what's he saying? I think it was, oh, God, I need that. Uh-huh. Uh. Here, it says, a person who has been bitten by a vampire moth will often experience hallucinations or bizarre speech patterns. And I don't want, I don't want this. OK. I just woke up and found this sitting on my chest. Ew. A dead lizard? It's dead now. Whoa, Andre, who's your friend? Uh, uh, uh. Give us our plane tickets home right now! Why you want to leave Yerba? Our friend is hallucinating! <laughs> An escaped prisoner crashed through a window and was dragged out by Urbanian soldiers! <laughs> and our bed is lumpy. Okay. I'm very sorry about the troubles. Here. Everyone, please enjoy a free can of Urbanian gravy. Urbanian gravy? Made in prison? 
We don't want to eat your prison gravy. We are leaving this country now. You kids promised to make Sing Song here for seven nights. Well, I'm afraid that's a promise they're going to have to break. So, what song should we do tomorrow night? It hurt. Probably. <laughs> Marlon, put your teacher on the phone right now. How much blood are you gonna need? Take a lot. Whatever you don't use, just put in a jug and send to my house. Get out. No. I'm leaving. Hey, my heart's got a nice beat going. Uh. Go hot beat. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I'm starting to play tonight mm -hmm. at 7.30. Mm -hmm. I'll be okay to do it, right? Yeah, you're only given one pint of blood. It'll take a few minutes, you'll be fine for your play. Well, who gave him the mustard? <laughs> Hi. We're back. How was the dude with tuberculosis? Oh, he just had stupid pneumonia. <laughs> Bill! Ah! <laughs> Is that loud? Um, will you let me know when you're about to stick the needle in my arm? Oh, and there's a needle in my arm. Hey, hey, I need to learn the proper way to cough and hack. Are there any patients with tuberculosis in this hospital? Seventh floor, North Wing. Thank you. Get away from me. Cat, come with me. Don't bother sick people. Bye. Ow. <laughs> OK, lights done. Band on the way. Decorations. Sinjin, do not lick the balloons. Be free. Hey, Andre, will you go check the... Andre! Mm. Sorry, uh, why don't you go get us some punch? Mm, no, no, baby. Punch first, please. Okay. <laughs> Keep those lips warm. Oh, I will. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I'm getting sick of that girl. And why are you always kissing her? She won't stop. I keep trying to talk, listen to music, get to know each other better. But to her, I'm just a pair of sweet, buttery lips. Aww. <laughs> hey, uh, who's your date? Uh, oh! I knew I forgot something. Uh, well, maybe I can just dance with you and yep. Robbie and... Well, uh... hey there, Fromers. Uh, what are you doing here? Mm, well, I didn't have anything else to do. Bex in Canada and you got my performance canceled, so here I am. At your prom. This cupcake... is done! Yeah. You! Oh, it's, um... 1.20 a.m. OK, so we better get going now. We don't have to check in till 7. This thing only goes like four miles an hour, and the parade is in Pasadena. If we leave now, we'll probably just barely make it. All right, people. In the dessert! Let's go! Let's go. Woo! Oh, here are the keys to the cupcake. Oh, no, no, no. I can't drive that thing with you kids in it. I have a semi-suspended driver's license. Why did it get suspended? Well, see, I was driving through Vegas with these people. I met at the circus, and, um... We'll let Beck drive. Circus people? One woman had an extra finger on her left Let's hand. Let's not talk about it! Mm -hmm. Nice fingering. Thanks. I think it needs work. I'm about to work on a puppet. Oh. <laughs> What's that song for? Friday night concert? Nah, it's for my advanced songwriting class. Semester project? Yep, and it's wigging me out. Well, put your wig back on. <laughs> <laughs> 
Because that song sounds really cool. Thanks, but I got no lyrics yet, and it's due in three days. Well, I'm awesome at song lyrics. No, he's not. Run! Save yourselves! <laughs> Come on, you play your song, and I'll just spew out whatever lyrics pop into my brain. Okay. Here, I'll uh, record you on my pear pad. Yes! <laughs> me, 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 me. All right, here you go. Ah, yeah. uh, baby, every night. And I need you, and I love you. Uh, upside down, touch my toes. And I cry inside. I can't do this. <laughs> and delete. Well, when I do come up with the lyrics, I want you to sing them. Me? You're the only you I know. <laughs> wow, that's deep. So you in? So in. Uh-huh. <laughs> Tori. Yo, Tori. Oh, hey, Lane. Hey, you know that class you signed up for next semester? R&B vocals? Yeah, I am so pumped for that class. Well, deflate yourself, because you can't take it. You gotta take tech theater first. Wait, she has to take the class or just pass the exam? Yeah, 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 yeah. What if I just pass the exam without taking the class? The exam's in three days. That's all I need. I'll study, like, nonstop. Okay. Yay! <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Were you eating potato chips? Nope. You're smelling my new lotion. Put your hands out. Now rub it in. Hmm. It smells like sour cream and onion. That's what it is. Ew. Gross. Taste it. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm, that's really good. That's fantastic. Yeah. Mm. You can really taste the sour cream. Mm -hmm. mm. Onions. Mmm. Oh, More. Oh, sure. oh, come on. Driving went back. Was that bad? Bad? I got in a fight with four idiotic girls. My nose really hurts. You took on four girls? Yes. Oh, and one of them bit my elbow. I'm probably gonna get Northridge fever. Anyway, thanks for giving me a ride to school. Ain't no problem. Anytime you need a ride, just know you can call Andre! Me. I can't find my contact lens! Grandma, you don't wear contacts. Then where are my glasses? They're on your face. Was I talking to you? I don't think I was! Grandma, please just eat your oatmeal. Okay, Andre! So... Your grandma rides to school with you every day? If you don't like it, why don't you drive yourself? I don't have my driver's license. <laughs> grandma, finish your breakfast. Eat your muffin. OK, Andre. I got to find my muffin. Girl, would you hold my oatmeal for me? Sure. Put your hands out. OK. You said you'd hold my oatmeal! Why didn't you just hand me the mug? I'm not letting you touch my mug! Uh, you want to ride tomorrow morning? Nope! Cool. All right, young lovers of learning and short pants. I do love short pants. Yeah, guess what I love? What? Slapping perky redheads. <laughs> Now, Jay, don't be a Christmas grunch. <laughs> grunch, that's my word. I can't no, calm down. Here yeah, it is. It's absolutely the end of the world. The I don't care. I'm just going to give up music. Just forget it. Forget everything. Ho, ho, ho! And jingle bells. No, Andre, don't you do oh. it! Oh, you did it. I bet that jingled his bells. Ah. Oh. I'm sorry, but all of y'all can just keep your Christmas spirit to yourselves. Andre, you got a beef with Christmas? I love Christmas beef. Every year, my brother steals a chuck roast and then rubs it Cat! with... Hey, hey. <sighs> you woke me up. Ooh, sorry, Beck. Certainly wouldn't want to keep you 
awake during my class. Thanks, you're the best. Now, before I get my teacher on, <laughs> Andre, why are the sour puss? Yeah, why the sour puss? I don't really want to talk about it. Andre wrote a Christmas song for his creative music class. <laughs> and it was a really great song. Oh. But his teacher gave him... Don't say it out loud! Okay. A D! Ah, I said it out loud. A D? I've always gotten A's in music. How does a person go from an A to a D? Happened to me in eighth grade. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Andre. Now... Yo! Whoa, whoa, wow, wow. Why Becky's so sleepy? There's a stupid cricket in my RV, so I can't sleep because it chirps all night long. So just call one of those bug murderers. Uh, they're called exterminators. Yeah, why sugarcoat it? Hey, Psychowitz. Yes, what is it, boy? I have your Hollywood art secret Santa assignment. Ooh, who am I buying a gift for this year? Courtney Van Cleef? Oh, no, that kid's a freaky little weirdo. She's my sister. I know. I don't know why your parents didn't stop with you. Could I please switch Secret Santa assignments with someone? Come on, please, Tori. Sorry, I didn't sign up for the Secret Santa thing. Yeah, none of us did. Why not? Because it's stupid. Why should we buy gifts for random people we don't care about? What's the point? All right. You kids need a big, fat dose of Christmas spirit rammed into your teenage hearts. So there, such as your teacher, I require you to participate in... Shh! Secret Santa. Oh, no, oh, no ad-lib complaining. I'll text you all your Secret Santa assignments, and I expect you all to give very good, very creative gifts. And what if we don't? Whoever gives the worst gift will have to join me on Christmas Eve for Christmas yodeling. What's Christmas yodeling? Hey. Hey, you guys. Can you do me a big favor? What's going on? What is it? Okay, see, I borrowed Beck's car because I needed to take my grandma to the doctor. Yeah? But she got scared and wouldn't go, so the doctor told me to bring him a cup of her, uh, you know, liquid. What? I, uh, I think he means her urine. <gasps> yeah, and when I took a sharp left, a cup of, uh, grandma spilled all over the front seat. All right, I've got rubber gloves and sponges in my locker. I guess I'll just... No, no, out. no. I just want you to tell Beck what happened. Why us? Well, because it's bad news. And in class today, you guys made bad news sound not so bad. Oh, OK. Yeah, we'll tell Beck for you. Cool, cool. He's over there. Trina did not get into the school by using knockout gas. That's the story I've always heard. I don't think it's true. I don't know. Trina is kind of kooky in the head. A little nutty in the old noggin. Some girls are like that, you know? Some mm, girls no. are. Mm, yes. Right? OK. Do you want to know how Trina really got into Hollywood arts? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yes. Tell us, oh, great Beck, who knows everything except how to keep a girlfriend happy. You hate being happy. Just tell the story. All right. Four years ago, Trina came here to audition. What are you doing? Oh, while Beck tells the story, I'm going to try and visualize it as it happened. Oh, me too. OK, so Trina was auditioning. It's a dream, it's a scene, and it's so brand new. If you think you can't stop it, then the joke is on you. So, how was that? Well, Trina, I would never use the word terrible, except in this case. Psychowitz, come on. She's a kid. You liked it? Oh, no, you're the worst. 
I'm sorry, but we can't accept you here at Hollywood Arts. Okay. I guess I'll just leave then. <laughs> Unless you guys are up for a challenge. What kind of challenge? I fight all five of you. If I win, you let me into Hollywood Arts. Ha! Let's dance. Foolish child. Bring it on, boo. Majigan! <laughs> think that the knockout gas story is true. You seriously think Trina got into this school by ninja whacking five teachers? It's the story I heard. Wait, Psychowitz had hair? Hi. Shh. I'm trying to catch my grandma's bird, Larry. Uh, how? I'll put some special bird seed in his cage and turn out all the lights. As soon as I hear him munching on that seed, I'ma go in there, slam that cage, and then I'll get my life back to normal. What do you mean? Well, every night when my grandma goes to bed, she talks to the bird. Sure. Since he wasn't there last night, she made me crawl under her bed and do the bird's voice. What kind of things does your grandma say to the bird? Stuff like, uh, Larry? Are you there, Larry? So then I had to go, um, yes, Grandma. Larry loves you, Grandma. Ah! The, the bird calls your grandma, Grandma? Mm-hmm. So you and the bird are cousins? I guess. Shh, shh. Listen. The bird. He's munching that seat. Let's get it. When I shut the cage, you turn on the lights. Got it. This is a good blend. <laughs> hey, Rob. Hi. What is that thing? It's some kind of prehistoric typing machine. And it takes me 10 minutes to type two words. That's slow. I know. And guess how you fix mistakes? How? With this paint. A little tiny bottle of white paint. Whenever I want to change anything, I have to paint over it, then I have to let the paint dry, and then I have to type over the dried paint. Yeah, well, you know what it's like for me having to listen to music on this machine? What is that? A record player. And the only records I got are the ones my grandma bought from 1951 to 1966. You know what my grandma used to listen to from 1951 to 1966? No. Circus music, Eskimo opera, and Chinese bebop. You ever listen to Chinese bebop? I have not. Well, I did. And now I got a rash. It might be a Chinese rash. Do you want to go to my locker? I have creams and ointments. Nah. So, uh, why are you sitting on the floor? Because I tried to carry this stupid typewriter to study hall, but it weighs like 900 pounds. It's really heavy? Uh, yeah. I tried to put it on my lap and it almost squished my swimsuit area. Mr. Mr. Thornsmith, it's a puppy. It's a puppy. It's not a lot. It's a lot. Thanks for hanging up on me. Why are you looking at yourself in the mirror? Why wouldn't I? Oh, oh. I was just in a fight with a 12-year-old. No, you just lost a fight with a 12-year-old. Did you call Mason? Yep. Will his son sell Rex back to Robbie? Nope. Oh, why would a 12-year-old boy be so stubborn about keeping a dumb puppet? Yo, idiot. If you want to get a 12-year-old boy's attention away from a puppet, then get him something he'll like better. Like? Donuts. I have no time for this. I 
I know something an obnoxious 12-year-old boy might want. Cupcakes. <laughs> Thanks. Hi, what would you like on your hot dip? It's not as fun as it seems. <laughs> Oh! Hey, Posey. Can I ask you something? Oh. See, I need help writing a song for my creative songwriting class. Well, good luck. Oh, shit. You are freakishly strong. That's because I drink lots of tomato juice. Do you like tomato juice? I don't think anyone does. Going somewhere? Yeah, yeah, I just had a brand muffin song. Posey! Were you about to ask Andre to do something? Will you help me write a song, please? Uh, uh yes. Yes, I will. Excellent. I reserved the music room for six o'clock tonight. See you there. Yes. Oh, you want me to bring you some tomato juice? Yes. Yo, Tori. Hey, Tori. Oh, hey, guys. Did you see the Chris Berm show last night? No, I was busy crying in my bathtub. Show her. No, I really don't want yeah, to see this. you do. Look at this. And then this enormous dog starts dragging her all over the place. I feel bad for her. So, Tori Vega, if you're out there, come be on my show anytime. We'll let you sing any song you want. Oh, my God. I'm doing it. Uh, you might want to think about that. Why? That Chris Berm guy, I don't know if I trust him. Sometimes he makes fun of his guests. So? The whole world's already making fun of me. Come on. Nobody here is making fun of you. <laughs> hey, look at me. I'm Tory. Oh, say, can you see? By the dawn, certainly light. All right. Thanks a lot. Enjoy the yoga. Thanks. My stinking yogurt! <laughs> hey, what's up, little co-worker? Just ready to get to it. <laughs> cool. Uh, Mr. Mooney, Tori's here. Just a minute. Mmm. What are these? Uh, coconut raisins. Mmm. Mm. And these? Peanut butter chips. Happy time. <laughs> what's this, uh, white stuff? That's what we use to clean the counter. <laughs> <laughs> What's she doing? Uh, she ate some counter cleanser. Now she's spitting it out. <laughs> nice to meet you. In the future, I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't choke or gag in front of the customers. It's the first time <laughs> eating cleanser. Now, Tori, today you'll be giving away three samples of yogurt berry balls. Your job is to give away 1,000 of these today to mall customers as they pass by. What are they? They're balls of flash frozen, fresh fruity flavored yogurt on a stick. Uh, why do they have green afros? That's green cotton candy. And what flavor is that? Green. Green flavor? Will I have to explain everything to her twice? No, no, sir. Why are the pretty ones always so stupid? Hey! I... Uh, how much money will she make today? Well, after she passes out 1,000 of these, I will pay her $100. A hundred bucks? Mm-hmm. Just to give away 1,000 of these for free? She's making me explain it again. No, no, I, I get it. I'm, I'm down. <laughs> Your costume is back there. Go put it on. You want me to wear a costume? That tears it. No, oh, no. She understands. Go put on your costume. What kind of costume? Excellent. What do you think? Um, well, it's... Don't you think it's a little bit hideous? Hideous? My wife designed that costume. Oh, well, I... I didn't mean to offend. See, see, these days, teenagers say hideous when they think something's awesome. 
You know, like how bad means good. Right. And hideous means real good. Yeah, like, uh, that sweater is hideous. I am talking her day day. <laughs> This card tells you what to say to people when you offer them a berry ball. Oh. Oh, here comes my daughter. Everyone be nice. She just got braces on her teeth. Oh, here's my little girl. How was the mall dentist? OK, I guess. What do you think? You look hideous. <laughs> Don't you two think so? Straight up a day day. <laughs> Oh, oh, Millie, come now. We'll, we'll buy you a new set of hair curlers. <laughs> now that we've destroyed a young girl's self-esteem, <sighs> I better start handing out these yogurt berry balls. 1,000 to go. 1,000 to go. Oh, hey, hi, excuse me. Um, Yogurt Togurt is proud to offer you a free sample of their new flash frozen fresh fruit leaf flavored yogurt berry balls. <laughs> they look disgusting. And so do you. Hi. Excuse me. Um Yodely Togurt is proud to offer you <laughs> No. One thousand to go. Okay, you guys ready to shoot one? One sec. You know all the lyrics to the song I wrote? Uh, yeah, but you know that the words pear pad don't rhyme with hair bag. <laughs> Close enough. It's really not. Oh my God. What happened? What? I just got a text. They found my mom in Mexico. <laughs> What's she doing in Mexico? We're not sure. She's been into some pretty funky stuff lately. <laughs> You can't leave. You gotta shoot our video. Next week, mother, your mijo is coming. No! <laughs> the contest will be over by next week. I'll try to help. We fell. Yes, we did. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh. Well, this is a predicament. Come on, we can get up on three. One, two, three. I can do everything. Yeah, you can't. Good. Ooh la la. Yeah. Stop. What is up with you and all the fancy clothes lately? What? What's fancy? They're just, they're just clothes. Whoa. Is that a Bouze watch? That is a bouze. I've always wanted to see a bouze. Where are you getting all this stuff? <sighs> Andre. Hey, Andre. Oh, hey. Hey, Hope. You forgot your new scarf. Yeah, forgot. I didn't leave it in your car on purpose. <laughs> um. <clears throat> oh, um, you guys, this is this is Hope. Hope, these are uh, some some people I know. Beck. Tori. I'm Robbie. <laughs> What are you doing? Oh, I don't know. I'm actually not quite feeling this scarf with this shirt. You know? When I gave you that scarf, you said you loved it. Were you lying? <laughs> no, baby. Baby, I love it. Just let me put it back around my neck. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. See, it looks nice. Like a pretty leash. <laughs> so, I'll pick you up at lunch. We'll go grab some sush. <laughs> Absolute. Yeah. <laughs> you guys want to come? I don't. Uh, Robbie and I have a a thing at a, at a place. We have a thing at a place. Shut up. Well, Tori, you come. Oh, uh, you uh, know, she'll I. She'll be there. You'll be there. She'll be there. I do love sushi. Great. <laughs> Yeah. Pretty girl. Uh, and generous. Yeah, she seems really nice. Thanks. Raise your hand if you hate her. I do. Ding. Eh. 